Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in Little Miss Fortune. This hilarious game was developed and published by Kill Monday Games, and is usually available for $16.74, but has been on sale for as, low as f for as low as about a fiver, so keep your eye out for future sales. So we play as Little Miss Fortune, Ramirez, Benda Rodriguez, Hernandez. Apart from the Bender Rodriguez bit. Uh, a small eight-year-old girl who whisks off on a Lord of the Rings style adventure, ish, to get the gift of eternal happiness for her ma. Off with her new friend Mr. Voice, it is a funny and great point and click game. Now achievements wise, a lot are missable, but they are easy. For the most part, you have to make a manual save, choose one, reload, and then choose the other option. Uh, just two things I will say though. Make sure to grab the colouring book at the beginning of the game and manual save. And then we'll manual save, break but fix the vase, reload, and then we'll break the vase and then leave it. Of course, I'll let you know anyway, but it's very important to do that for achievements at the end of the game. Plus, we have to find 16 sparkles, which are considered to be the collectibles in this game. So, we're looking at around one to two hours to get this done. And so, with that being said, then, let us begin. So, I had already started started the game, unlocked a few achievements, and realised that I completely ballsed it up. So, there are a couple of achievements uh, early on that you're not <laughs> going to see, because I pretty much monged that up, which, I mean, if you're watching my stuff, it's pretty much to be expected. So, we can just press and hold the A button to skip through any cutscenes. That's what we're going to be doing through the game. We're going to be skipping through any cutscenes, and we're going to be skipping through all dialogue as well. So, I'm just going to be mashing the... Um, a button to mash through all the dialogue here. This is Mr. Voice, which is... I mean, it's an aptly named thing, since he is just a voice. And he does remind me of... Uh, a Juggler's Tale. I have put a Juggler's Tale up on the guide as well. Kind of reminds me of the same thing. Mr. Voice ends up being quite... Not as nice as we are led to believe. So here is Little Miss Fortune, who, by the way, has one of the cutest voices in any video game I've played. And you'll just see. You just want to pinch up chubby little cheeks and... Bleh. Anyway. So, uh, this whole cutscene is just going to happen. But there are going to be two missable achievements that we're going to grab in this bedroom. Which, again, can be easily missed. Although we can just go back into it later if you wanted to. Anyway... So today is the day she would die, that's unfortunate. Maybe it's them eyebrows, yo. What eight-year-old doesn't have... Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, but that's that's werewolf eyebrows right there. That is X-Men Wolverine eyebrows. Eight-year-olds, if you've got a e <laughs> bit of Wolverine eyebrow, it's time to get rid of that, okay? Okay. Okay, so again, just keep pressing the A button there to just smash through the dialogue. I don't smash through it like I do in other games because it's it's worth looking because there's a lot of funny dialogue in this game anyway. And again, the, 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 this voice the, 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 this voice is just so cute. It is you just you almost feel bad for skipping it. Right. So anyway, we're just gonna blast through this. The first thing we're gonna do left uh, left stick to walk, and we're just gonna go straight up to the radio here. Uh, right underneath the window, press the A button to interact with it, and then do not do anything. So, what we're going to do now is just see little Bender Rodriguez, Miss Fortune Hernandez, whatever her friggin' name is, just dance. So, it's, <laughs> it's a hell of a face, but just don't touch anything. Watch her dance. This takes about two minutes to get the first achievement, music forever. And what's with the spacing of them eyes? Jesus Christ.
And we should be coming to the end of it now. And by the way, not that there's anything wrong with eyes being that far, uh, that far apart from your head, of course. I think that's a very uh, unique trait. I mean, it could probably sh she could probably see more, I assume. Anyway, once that unlocks, go to the right, and you're going to see this uh, glitter on the floor. So pick it up with the A button. And then what you need to do is just mash the Y button 50 times. This is how, uh, again, like I said, there's 16 sparkles, which are kind of uh, collectibles. So we just need to use this glitter sparkle on 16 random things. Uh, specifically random things during the game, but we get an achievement for just smashing it out 50 times, so Spam spam wham bam. Thank you, ma'am Get it inside of you all the glitter and then go to the doctors and be like how did this gl glitter get inside of me? Oh Jesus, what a party And there we go then, so that's already the first two achievements that we've got in the first couple of minutes. I didn't edit any of that out just because it doesn't really take that long to do. And this is her face as she runs, so for some reason she gets purely constipated when she runs, not sure why. Uh, so go to the blanket on the left hand side, press the A button. Now remember I said about the colouring book, we need to take this with us, very very important. Because there are a lot of times you can choose to do something or not do something. So press right on the D-pad and then Press and hold the X button to take the colouring book with you. Um, now, a lot of times, like I said, you'll get these specific dialogue choices. A lot of the times they don't actually matter. It's only for a couple of things to, um, that will matter, such as the colouring book now. So we can press the B button to back out. Uh, get your constipated run out. <laughs> and we're just going to head out of the door. Again, pressing the A button. Um, again, not sure. I don't think um, taking any of these toys... Makes a difference, whichever one you want, but I just choose the stone because it's got the most hilariously sad story that her father chucked a stone at her, which is, uh, I mean, it's not hilarious. <laughs> That's quite sad. Um, by the way, the way the little misfortune here says thank you is genuinely, it, it, it genuinely makes me smile every time, which is hilarious. And I love her outlook on life. Happiness to everything. See? Even though your daddy chucks stones at your face, you've got a happy outlook on life. And that's... And more people should be like that. More people should be <laughs> happy with that. So press the right trigger to run. That is how you do that. Press the right trigger to run. We're going to break the vase. Now, this is another important bit, like I said. So what we're going to do, when we break the vase, we are going to make a manual save. So very important. Make your goddamn manual save. Trust me. Otherwise, you have to play through the whole game again, and as fun as the game is, you don't really want to be replaying a game. So, press the start button, go to save, put it in the first save slot, and then we can press the A button. I'm just double checking there, make sure that it actually uh, saved, always worth doing. So, press the A button then, and what we're going to do is actually fix the vase this time. Um, all it is, is just a simple... We're going to press the press and uh, hold the X button there to fix it. It's just a simple putting your pieces together kind of puzzle. Again, there's nothing really too difficult um, at all in this game. So, yeah, just, well, fix it. Because I assume you don't have money. If your daddy throws stones at your face, I assume you don't have that much money. Not that chuck being chucked stones at your face has anything to do with money. But um, So, yeah, anyway, if you want to just see the, <laughs> the final product, just to go ahead to 10 minutes, 15 seconds.
And there it is then. So for someone who gets abused and her family doesn't love her, um, we're quite good at fixing things with that positive outlook on life. But anyway, you should now get the achievement called The Cause. Again, I already unlocked it like an absolute dongleberry, so you won't see me unlock it on screen. So as soon as it unlocks, reload your save in uh, to load one. And then this time we're going to leave the broken vase. So very important this time, we're going to leave the broken vase. So head to the door on the right, nip your ass in. And this is where we're going to start doing the collectible sparkle thing. So, yep. Mummy drinks and smokes to get away from the abusive dad. It's, it's a grippingly weird story, but, well... As long as you've all got that positive outlook from Miss Eyebrow Misfortune, we're all good. So open up the fridge. Lovely, delicious bunch of dead rabbits in there. And I know Peter are on the case now, crying and screaming. Ah, you can't do that! Anyway, press the Y button when you're next to the dead rabbits, and look at that! They're alive! Same with the soup. Uh, I don't think you uh, have to press the A button on it, but I do anyway, just to be... Um, why is there a skull in the soup? I I'll go with meat, but I'm not going with skull. Anyway, press the Y button when you're next to the soup, and that'll be two out of three. Uh, so that's the fridge, the soup, and then press the Y button next to your mommy. And, <laughs> oh, she's just drinking juice. It's not gin and juice, it's just regular juice. Okay, good, good. So, again, this bit doesn't matter. You can tell her you're leaving. You don't have to. I tell her yes, because I'm cute. I'm going to to play, mommy. Okay, doesn't work as well when I do it. But that should be three sparkles out of 16. And, uh, good morning, afternoon. <laughs> it is funny, honestly. Such a very fantastically dialogued game. So, our main objective is to basically find this fox. Um, and there's lots of finding to do. So, what we're going to do, first of all, is go to the car on the rock. On the, on the rocks. On the right. Right here. And we're going to see these little sparkles. And then press the white button there. Everyone's happy. Dad isn't abusive. Mum isn't a cigaretting drunk. Uh, and we're all good. But that should be your fourth one. So, um, again, you don't have to interact with the cat here. I just do for the band's sake. Because cats are, and I'm sorry to say this, but to me, cats are dicks. Okay? Okay, I'm sorry. So, anyway, go across the road. Before we continue. A uh, little bit more dialogue from Mr. <laughs> the Annoying Mr. Voice right here. Um, but yeah, in terms of the sparkles, there's a lot of time. You'll know when you have to press the Y button, because you can just see like little the little dots and little sparkly things in the background of an item. So that's when you know. But again, we should already be on four. What monster? I didn't. I was there. I it's probably just your imagination. Wow, Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> that's an ominous looking thing for the rest of our adventure. Um, right, but we're going to be coming back home later. Anyway, interact with the dead crow and then press the Y button by it. I mean, he is... Yeah, I mean, he's flat out. Yeah, that's that's a crow who's had too, many, <laughs> too much to drink in the night, that one. And again, you'll know when you've sparkled it up right, you start seeing your heart. Full of goodness, as it were. So that should be the fifth out of sixteen. Uh, again, you can press the uh, press and hold the A button there as all the dead crows start flying around us. I wonder why that is. Seems pretty ominous, right? <laughs> right. So what we're going to do now is just start heading to the right, and we're going to see this. I mean, this dog's been hit on the head a couple of times because no dog has eyes like that except for every pug ever. And I'm sorry, but who calls a pug cute? They're literally like little smushed little eyeballs. Anyway, press and hold the B button. We're going to be setting this little, um, <laughs> our little backwards friend dog free. And the reason we're doing that, we're coming up to another miserable achievement for petting the boy a couple of times. <laughs> Party, yes, full of, um, full of doggy treats, quote unquote treats, shall we say, at the party. Anyway, when you set him free, uh, just pet him three times by interacting with him by pressing the A button. It literally just looks like he's just full of rabies and that he <laughs> he poops from his mouth and eats with his ass, something like that. Anyway, when you pet him three times, you will get the little cutie achievement, and then we can <laughs> just move on. Sorry, I was just I uh, just letting you know when there was an achievement by running back and forth, constipating his <laughs> This bit's funny. 
<laughs> hey, Papi, that's yucky. Don't yikes forever. And there's that little catchphrase she has as well. Yikes forever. Super cute. Also, if you can't laugh at um, people walking in poop and their dogs licking up vomit, then you do not have a sense of humour. Very, very sorry. But that's just... <laughs> That's just how it is. Right, we're going to make another manual save. So it's very important here to make another manual save. So put it in the second save slot. Go to the right here. And then just keep slamming through. So basically we're going to be um, doing that choice achievement again. Come on, little eyeballs. Little drug balls. So press the A button there. And little, <laughs> little eyeball. Oh, in fact, I make the manual save here. Right, okay. Makes sense. Anyway, whatever you've done, just make sure you've made the manual save before interacting with the beach. And then what we're going to do, again, it's another... <laughs> the bitch has a secret. Yes, I have... <laughs> I have three boobies. Um, right. Anyway, you can only pick one. The first one we're going to pick uh, is the fortune cookie. So press and hold the X button <laughs> for the fortune cookie. Sadly, you do have to just go through all the dialogue, but as soon as we can regain control of little Bender Rodriguez, Miss Fortune Rodriguez, Hernandez, then we can reload the manual save. Oh, that's a pretty ominous uh, fortune cookie. Damn. Didn't you? No, I took. Nobody said anything like that. And those are just silly cookies. Okay. <laughs> no, puppy. Well, cutie! Freaking blackbirds! Oh my. Yeah, I hope I get to meet. I bet you will. Mr. Voice. I'm still here. Yes, oh, Fanta! <laughs> the d eyeball dog got uh, flown away. Tamping. Right, we're going to load up our second save now. So, load two. And then we just have to go through this a bit again. But of course, this time, what we're going to choose is the um, doggy treat. And you think it would make a difference, but it actually doesn't. Um, little eyeball puffball still gets carried away by blackbirds, so unlucky. But just make sure for the for the other achievement to um, pick the doggy treat, and then from here on out you will see achievements unlocking on screen. To make the doggy love me, no, but I do love doggy, so. I, I mean, just dogs, of course. <laughs> that's that's always what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? No, puppy, puppy, little cutie, freaking blackbirds. Oh my. Yeah, I hope I get to meet them. I bet you will, Mister Voice. I'm still here. It's weird. I really love the way she says thank you. It's super cute. Anyway, we are sparkling on the beach. So before going to the right, press the Y button. Um, there it is, so I'm not, I didn't know if you had to do it twice or whatever, so, uh, always worth doing it twice though, just, just to be on the triple E safe side, because you don't want to get through the whole game, realise that you're missing one, and then you balls it up, so, there we go then, sparkle it up, and then go to the right, and then we're going to play out with a quite a bit of dialogue, so I'm just going to let you enjoy, instead of hearing my disgusting voice. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the... About the puppy? Yes. I'm also, for this choice, again, it doesn't matter if you say yes or no, because, well, I mean, you'll just see. <laughs> you'll see. Yes, of course. That is very... Thank you. Oh, look, a boat. Hello. Are we there yet? Just a little bit. Ah, okay. So, random fish pops out. This one is important. What we are actually going to do is keep this fish. Uh, so, press and hold the B button there to bring it with you. Not sure exactly where Miss Fortune Bender Rodriguez is going to stick this fish, but, um, well, apparently she's got big, <laughs> big enough pockets and big enough eyebrows and a big enough hairdo. So, uh, maybe she just sticks it under a hat. Yeah, that'll do. So, we've got Rodrigo the fish. He's going to come in handy for another achievement later on. So, welcome to this part of the world. Let's just keep sprinting to the right. You know, get your diarrhea constipation run on the go again. I don't know why that looks so hilarious, but it does. So, what we're going to do then is obviously open the door. So, go to the right. Press the A button there to open the door. Again, this choice does not matter, makes no differentials at all. So we're just going to go in, 
that fish looks kind of dead. Um, yeah, so we've got some more ominous signs going on. Fish is dead, and the house looks like there's no party going on, which I am fuming about. I was looking forward to getting that uh, little eight-year-old... You know when eight-year-olds pretend to, like, be drunk after... <laughs> no, no, what is it? Not WKD. Um, you know, like juice, and they start acting drunk, and it's hilarious. Oh! Oh, George is dead. <gasps> okay. I mean, at least he could have finished his bloody cinnamon swirl thing and a cup of coffee right there before hanging himself. But, uh, you know, obviously he wasn't that hungry. Tap in. So, George is pretty freaking dead. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party... I'll meet you in the back. Or, I mean, maybe not. They say the last thing you do before you die is crap your pants. Unless we just don't see the back of his pants. Anyway, press the Y button on George to make him come alive. Or his boots. <laughs> George the piñata. Honestly. Honestly, just so cool. So funny. Anyway, we need to be going out to the right. Sorry, the right is the exit. Um, so... I guess we're just leaving George the Piñata to um, hang out by himself. <laughs> Get it? Hang out? Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so going to the right, we are now into the woods. And what we're going to do, we're going to come up to a cave. A couple of choices, a bit more dialogue before we come up to a cave. And we're going to see something that I genuinely, truly did not expect to see in a video game, let alone this one. So, um, just keep blasting it out to the right for now. Constipating, try not to crap your pants as you run. Now, we're going to find eight of these hay dolls. This one is unmissable, but there are another seven missable ones that we need to grab throughout the game. So, of course, I'll let you know when we get there. Plus, you get an achievement for each one as well. Uh, so, we will come up to that. Um, now, hay doll number seven, I don't think is actually on the PlayStation version. I'm not sure if they've updated it by now, but before, hay doll number seven was not on the PlayStation. So, if you are playing on PlayStation, just uh, be aware of that. I'll obviously, again, let you know when we get there. So, Benjamin the Fox, who, I'm not being funny, looks like he has smoked enough marijuana to keep him going for the next three days. Oh, no, don't go! Oh. <sighs> Let's keep playing my... Okay. There's a magical... A magical cave? <sighs> oh, is this the mag... It doesn't look that much. Just wait until you... Oh, I like the sound of that. I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. So, a lettuce, like a lettuce leaf, a lettuce entered the cave. And then what we're going to do is actually make another manual save because we've got two choices coming up that we have to make again. So, when we get inside... <laughs> Echo. 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 Thank you. Ah, oh, mate, honestly, kills me off. Right, so make a manual save. We're going to make it in the third save slot. Again, we've got one of those choicey achievements, but these do take a couple of minutes to do. So what we're going to do is walk over to the right, and again, we're going to come up to something I just totally didn't expect. One, there's a hamster driving in a car past you. Two, um, I mean, just just have a look. Just check this out. What's this? Hamster party? A magical hamster. I know you love party. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go find. Now, one thing I've never seen is a nude hamster. So, um, yeah, didn't expect that one. Right, what we're going to do this time, we have to intervene with the fight. So, press and hold the X button to say yes. We're going to end the violence between the hamsters. Um... I particularly don't want to see nude hamster titties, not, I mean, it's up to you, I know there are a lot of um, people who like watching hamsters nude and animals banging and stuff, which is extremely weird, uh, but what we're going to do is just <laughs> head to the right, it's not for me personally, not a big hamster titty fan, uh, no offence to little hamster titties, we're going to go to the right, some old lady has been properly knocked over, she is all knobbed up, She's the owner of the club. Oh, she was the original new titty hamster she was, wasn't she? 
Um, right, so what we're going to do, after all this dialogue's ended, we're going to help the old lady. We're going to interact with her. I mean, to be fair, though, uh, that old lady's hamster titties must be uh, pretty low down. In fact, that's not a hamster feet. That is hamster titty. She walks on her titties now. That's why she's got that little basket to walk on. So interact with the old lady. She's just going to walk on by... Well, Fen. Square you, bitch. Okay. And then what we're going to do is interact with the button on the right. Um, it probably gets a ladder down. Oh, and it does as well. Well done, Miss Fortune Bender Rodriguez Hernandez. Right. Now what we're going to do is climb up the ladder. Again, yep, climb the ladder. Uh, what we're going to do, this is the first part of the missable achievement. It's very easy. Um, we're just going to hit a uh, fire alarm with an acorn and a, uh, a, a slingshot. <laughs> Wound face. <laughs> I love games like this. I love games like this. It's just, they're too good. But with a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that sling. Oh, look. That's really clever. Hmm, I know, thank you. So, easy enough then. Move the left stick up and down to aim and then press the A button to shoot. There is also a power bar. Um, so, obviously, in the red, that makes it go very far. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. So, just smash the guy in the head. Um, so, you do, you won't get caught or anything. So, it's a bit of trial and error, this one. Just um, put the arrow. I put it just sort of underneath the sort of baseball bar. Again, a bit of trial and error for you. But as soon as you hit the alarm, you'll get the sniper achievement. And then what you can do, smash through the dialogue. I'm going to reload the save. <laughs> Squir squirrel speed. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. It's so funny. So we're going to reload the third save there. We, we're not going to go through the squirrel speed, breaking bad style squirrel meth lab this time. So we're going to go to the right. Hamster's going to nip past us again. Um, but this time what we're going to do is not intervene in the hamster fight. And we're going to see something which I didn't actually expect. I thought Drug Lord Hamster on the left there was um, <laughs> was pretty gone for. But, well, you'll see. Just make sure to press the B button to not intervene. Hamster fight! Are you going to do something? I don't want to get involved in... Well, holy nutsack. So, well, the robber got his just dessert. Um, dead. We're going to interact with the bag, and we are going to interact with the <coughs> quote-unquote <coughs> mints, which you've all mistaken for on a night out, and then this normally ends up happening. It's all been an accident. Everyone who's ever felt like this or gone through this, eating mints on a night out, we've we just... It's been an accidental thing. So again, watch the cutscene if you want, because it is pretty funny. Um, I obviously end up skipping it. Um, but um, yeah, these mints, man, they can they make you feel really good on a night out, and they can make you feel really crap uh, afterwards. Great mints, great mints. Um, but anyway, once our little eight-year-old, remember, eight-year-old Benna Rodriguez, um, comes off the mint coma, shall we call it? We're going to go all the way to the right. We're going to see um, the original, the original floppy tiddied hamster. She's the owner of the club. Really? Yes. Looks like. Oh, I bet. Yes, you're right. I mean, you can give a sparkle if you want, but there's no saving those droopy tid bags. Uh, we are going to interact with her again, though, and this time she's going to be very thankful and give us a VIP ticket to go and see. Some nude hamsters, apparently. That's what I wanted. I'd rather money, but, you know, watching hamster strips, hamster strip, yeah, that, that, that could be entertaining, perhaps? Hmm. I mean, if you're a furry, then yeah, probably. It's going to be fantastic. In fact, if uh, you're one of those weirdos that are really, really into animal porn, you're probably going to go to the toilet in a bit. You dirty tea. You dirty tea, what? 
Anyway, go back to the um, live nude hamsters open bar. And we're going to go in. Basically, we are going to be getting another achievement as well. That's the main important thing. We're not after nude hamsters. We are after an achievement. That's all we're doing. Honestly. You could say Am I allowed to of course you are. <laughs> Listen, Miss Fortune. A white rabbit? Or it will lead you closer to the... Okay, I'll find... God damn, bro. Hamster's in incredibly better shape than me. He's got abs. I've got flabs. Okay. And he's got better hair than me as well, actually. Um, and he's got a better package than me as well. Man, what a... Man, I am incredibly jealous of this hamster. Anyway, this is the achievement. It's like a Dance Dance Revolution type thing. So you can see the top left-hand corner. You've just got to match these symbols as they go into the corresponding uh, ar um, arrows. Using the D-pad will be the easier option for this, so it's very easy. So obviously left, right, left, right, up, down. Well, if you play, you've, you know the drill. We've had plenty of these types of crappy achievements in games. So just smash through this for the next minute and a half, and we will get the achievement. I'm not sure if you can actually fail or not, um, but you should be fine. It's easy enough. And I'm just going to, <laughs> I'm just going to go and look at how I can get abs and a package the same size as a hamster. I'll be right back. That's the end of that chapter. I gotta be honest, mind uh, Ben Rodriguez's voice did get a little annoying there with the "Oi, I love you, perfect." Yeah, you could have said everything else. Uh, but anyway, when you get that, we get the Dance Master achievement, and then we can just uh, we, we're gonna get out of here. Um, me seeing a, a female hamster in leggings, stockings, or whatever the freight fishnets, it's it doesn't sit right with me. But again, I know a couple of um, furry, <laughs> those who love the furriest side of life have probably nipped off to the toilet for just a sec. So, I mean, yeah, we'll see you in a second. Oh, and as it turns out, I've got the exact same size package as a hamster as well. So, uh, apparently half an inch is incredibly generous these days. So I'm, I'm delighted. I'm super happy. Me and the hamsters are the same. We are one size. That's not embarrassing at all, right? Nah, it's cute. Right, little missing poster. That's a shame. What's also a mega shame is... Um, when we start going to the right, that missing girl is going to... Well, she's going to appear in front of us as a ghost. So she is pretty dead right about now. Anyway, we're just going to keep on walking to the right. Oh, it's our marijuana up friend. It's our weed head. Mr. Benjamin, the weed head. With that, I told you, foxes. Let me handle that. Benji, I... <gasps> no, Benji, don't... Let that wild beast run off. All right. Oh, my God, this next bit is hilarious as well. Slow down, you fuck. Miss Fortune. What? <laughs> oh, I just, I cannot, I cannot praise this game enough for absolutely everything. Visuals, it looks visually fantastic. Dialogue is dialoguely hilarious, and just the overall gameplay is, it's just very cool. 
Love it. So, as we're walking along, I'm going to see some dead crows behind us. Now, you're probably wondering why that is, and if you don't know why, I'm not going to spoil it for you. We'll, we'll wait till the end. Really? Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Anyway, let's go find the... Yes. Okay, very important here, before going all the way to the right of the seagull, when we get to the bin or this leaf, whatever here, make a manual save. So before going to the seagull right there, make sure to make a manual save. If you went too far and you've already started speaking to the seagull, go ahead and reload your auto save and then make a manual save here. Um, basically, again, we're needing to be doing uh, another choice achievement, which takes a couple of minutes to do, but... If you didn't make a manual save, you'd have to start from quite quite far back. In fact, through the cave again. So you'd have to do all the cave stuff again. So make sure to make a manual save. And then what we're going to do is give him the fish. This time around, or, or we're going to slam in his head, which is always nice. So again, as long as you've done that manual save, you should be good. If you didn't, and you already started speaking to the seagull, make an auto save again. And then make a manual save. I know I said that twice, but I thought I'd just get that in there. So, um, seagulls love eating fish, especially the ones that are, I mean, literally look like they're on the <laughs> death's door, as in they want to just run into the train in the background. Don't look like he's had a good life there, that Mr. Seagull. So we're going to pick up the fish anyway. Again, this is important for an achievement, so I don't think we're doing this all for a <laughs> jokes and banter. A random duck with a beep with a boombox is going to appear out of nowhere. Um, now, you are going to get a choice whether to dance... Alone or let the duck dance. If you press the B button to let the duck dance, it just... And he's smoking weed as well. Uh, we're going to press and hold the X button to show off our dance skills. Basically, if you press the B button, the duck's going to dance for literally about a minute or two. I mean, he is hilariously going to slap Misfortune down a couple of times when he starts dancing. He literally accidentally kicks Misfortune in the head. So it's very funny. But um, dancing ourself just... It, it literally doesn't add it it takes about a minute and a half off extra so so we just can just go to the right now past the masked person and we are going to be coming up to the cemetery where we're going to be sorting out our dead fish friend the best place to end exactly I, i'm glad you feel the same <laughs> And again, for these next couple of cho dialogue choices here, nothing uh, matters, so you can just pick whatever the hell you want. So if you want to pick the opposite of what I do to see what dialogue you get, well, be my breast, be my guest, be my best. I stole my friend's Swiss. I felt so bad. I buried... Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Second question. Are you happy? Right... Yes, I mean nothing. Well then, the last. Do you feel loved? I'm pretty sure mommy loves me. Thank you for your... You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived. Ready to find? Yes, where is it? I have hidden it. I have to dig in the grass. Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's the goldfish. All right, must I dig with my axe forever? No, use. What shovel? This shovel. Yikes, forever. <laughs> I love it. I love that one. Right, so we're going to pick up the. Uh, shovel, what we're going to do is just go all the way to the end of the pet cemetery. And this should be at the bottom of our feet right there. There it is, the open graveyard. So what we're going to do is interact with that one. We're going to put dead Rodrigo in. So bury Rodrigo's bones there, pressing and holding the X button. It's tidy as. By the way, I didn't realize uh, how such a big head Misfortune had. That is pure Mr. Mackey. Okay. Uh, misfortune head. Anyway... Ah, uh, by Rodrigo. So that's going to unlock us the achievement anyway. Now, why we have to make a manual save, what we're going to do is reload this manual save now as soon as the achievement unlocks. There it is. Routing fish. Oh, hi, fish. So we're going to um, reload the save. Again, I just done in load one. 
Now remember, the reason why I said we had to make this manual save here is because if we went back to the auto save, we auto saved back into the pet cemetery, which means we couldn't get back this far, which means you would have ballsed it up and you would have had to have gone again. Uh, nobody likes that. So what we're going to do this time is keep Rodrigo. So keep the fish. This time, it's going to come in all big handy for us later on. We're going to go back to the right. We're going to interact with the duck again. We're going to press the X button when we are by the boom boxing duck. Unless, of course, you want to press the B button to get the duck to dance and watch uh, Miss Fortune Hernandez Bendo Rodriguez get slapped a couple of times. Which, again, is very funny. So... Not that I condone slapping eight-year-olds, of course. That's that's not me anymore. Uh, just joking. Of course I'm just joking. Honestly. Of course. Check this out. <laughs> that was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you... Okay, another two achievements coming up. This is the Twister Ride, so what you need to do is interact with it. We are going to uh, press and hold the X button there to ride the Twister. And then what's going to happen after the first time, the second missable Hay Doll is going to uh, pop its head off. <laughs> I mean, fair play, Miss Fortune takes a lot of crap in this game. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's all funny, but she takes a lot of crap, so I'll give that to her. To her. So, interact with the second Hey Doll, that's going to be the Hey Doll number two achievement. But before moving to the right, as soon as you press the B button to get off this, make sure to interact with the Twister Ride two more times, and then as soon as you've interacted with the Twister Ride twice, and Miss Fortune throws up once again, probably getting out the rest of her uh, quote-unquote mint, that is where we're going to get the Too Much Rolling achievement. There it is, so the mint's up, we're all good, too much rolling achievement unlocked, so now we're just going to go to the right, back into the pet cemetery, where we're going to get another missable achievement. Ah, oh, this guy's happy. Big beer belly, happy old man. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same. <laughs> So, I was thinking, mind if I ask you a couple? Sure, I'm pretty good at that. Great. Just answer as... All right. First question. Have you ever stolen? No, never. Never? Good. Second question. Are you happy right now? Well, not really. That's why I want the price too much. Then I can stop pretending I'm always happy. Ah, I see. Well then, the law. Do you feel loved? No, that's why I like my... He's just a rock and this... I wish I could be like that sometimes. Thank you for your... You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived. Ready to find the prize? Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of... I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. The goldfish. All right. Must I dig with my tiny... Yikes forever? No, you... What shovel? This shovel. Yikes forever. Right, when we get the shovel and we can pick that up, what we're going to do now is just interact with every gravestone. So here's the first one with the heart on it. Um, but these quotes, again, are absolutely hilarious. So just go from the left to the right, interact with every graveyard above our head. 
Um, and then when we get to the very last one, we should find the Eternal Happiness box and get the achievement as well. But just, just enjoy these quotes. <laughs> the first bug to ever strangle a man. It's just them eyeballs, man. You probably don't know them eyeballs as well. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the er hmm, erotic novel. Ah, uh, no prize. How's the grave digging? Good, I got this. Now this next one is the is my most favorite quote in the whole game. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I don't know who come up with that. Do they just have a big writers meeting and they go right? Just come up with the most bizarre, weirdest, randomest, crappest thing you can come out with, because I'm telling you what, it worked perfectly. And if there's someone who out there dies doing what he loves, eating poo, then man, you got some serious problems. Anyway, uh, we're coming up to the end of the graves now. Again, you should again, you know. It's a missable achievement, but the graves are very easy to spot, so hopefully you haven't uh, missed one. If you uh, feel in a bit like you have missed one, just go up and down. Make sure that all the graves, of course, have got a hole by them, especially Paul eating poo one, and the uh, confessions of a erotic cat, or whatever the hell that was. So anyway, you should now get the Tomb Lady achievement, and you should be now able to pick up the Eternal Happiness box. What? Yes, it says... It didn't! My I knew the f- What a disappointment. I really wanted to do- What should I do now? We must find the fox. And I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Yes, let's do that. Uh. Now actually, before moving on as well, make sure to press the Y button to give the Eternal Box a little sparkly sparkle. So we haven't done a sparkle for a long while actually, but uh, no, make sure to do that before moving on. Benjamin, did you steal my etern <laughs> eternal happiness, i.e. weed? Did you steal my weed? Come it looks like. Ah, that's what the happiness must mean then. Happiness, i.e. weed. Yeah, it's all making sense now. And that's I'm just way overthinking that, which is what everyone in 2022 tends to do. Right, make sure to pick up the missable hey doll as well before moving out to the exit. That should be hey doll number three. Hey doll number three. So again, just make sure to grab that, and then we can finally move on to the right. Fine. Did you find something? No, you imagine. We should keep our eyes open in case they know how to hide. All right. Right then, what we're going to do is interact with this tombstone, and what we're going to do is grab the rune stone. So there are three rune stones in the game. Obviously, the first one is unmissable, but the other two, we need the rune stone to put in in order to get the achievement. So if you press right in the D-pad or your left stick or whatever, you can choose. Uh, you can see what what the writing is. But if you press left on the D-pad or the left stick, you're going to pick up the rune stone. The writing is going to go away. Um, but that's fine, because we need the runestone in our inventory anyway. So you can read what it says if you want. Uh, for some reason, I was just being a bit moronic and getting a bit confused. Um, <laughs> but as long as you've picked up the runestone, that'll be your first one out of three. And then we can move on. Constipation running all the way to the right. Interact with the trap a few times and fall down. Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad at all. Okay, you saw me. I wonder why Benjamin would maybe he's not happy him But I need that happiness and for mommy. Hello? Anybody oh, yeah. oh that was a hello? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Oh, that. Ha! I thought that was funny. We don't have to pick that one up, by the way. I thought that was just another clever little joke from the devs there, right there. Uh, you can pick up the fox repellent, go to the right, 
uh, where we're going to see the weed smoking legend Benjamin um, after you interact with the lever, of course. Uh, but it's up to you. You can either press yes or no to using the fox repellent on Benjamin. Again, choice I don't think matters here. I just I choose not to because, I mean, he looks like he's looking for something important, like a lighter. Oh man, I'm so high right now. I have no idea what's going on. What have I got on myself? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake. Choosing her. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. It's not nice. Misfortune. You <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what happened? The dangerous fox. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad... See? I told you. That fox. Yeah. Maybe I should live. We still need to find a fox and take back the... Maybe we could find out... So, once again then, after a little misfortune, Rodriguez Hernandez Bender Rodriguez decides to spew up again. We're going to run to the left. And what we're going to see, there is a uh, leaflet there, a poster for the zoo, which is what we're going to go into next. But we've got no money, so we need to basically distract the vendor to let ourselves in. After, of course, we do a couple of little things first. We're going to get another cheeky, sparkly sparkle. So, go to the left. Keep going to the left. And then what we're going to see is more missing posters and more dead ghosts, which is... I mean, dead kids in the game, that's a bit... <laughs> God damn. Oh, look, it's a happy alcoholic fat man. Oh, right by the booze, that's strange. Keep going to the left, and there's a guy that's going to come out. He's going to drop his wallet... And what I think I give the wallet, yeah, I end up giving the wallet back to him. Again, not sure if it makes too much of a difference, but I end up returning it because I am a nice dude. So, I, so again, I'm not sure if you steal it, you can just pay yourself to get into the zoo. But again, I'm not sure on that, so don't quote me on that. I'm just guessing right there. So the guy drops a ticket. And then what we're going to do is interact with the door anyway. So we're going to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, man, misfortune! What a sad, sad life that. It's, it's very, that is a very sad life. What we're going to do is press the Y button. After you interact with the door, press the Y button to get out your next sparkly sparkle. Um, I ended up missing that leaflet there that the guy dropped out of his wallet, but I wasn't too sure if you had to pick it up. Um, as it turns out, it doesn't make a difference, I don't think, because I didn't need it. But there we go. So. A lot of missing children. Basically, we all know what's happened to them. They, they, I mean, they're, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty dead. That, that's about it. That's about as far as I can say. They're in someone's basement right now. But we're just going to go to the left. Sorry, that, that was a bit weird. Then in someone's basement. All we need to do is just interact with the button there and sit on the bench next to the two chunky ladies. Wait for the bus until we get to the zoo part. It says that all children under five have eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm. Well, maybe you need a bus. Uh, I'm definitely older, but. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like twenty? Yes. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, look. We have to wait. Yikes! Forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin and that Benjamin should. That sounds great. <laughs> should I see down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little. Check those old ladies. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly. I really? Yes. You know, my mommy also, she likes to hide her smile. Would you like to have a mask like... Nah, uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Hmm. 
This bus trip might take a... Are you okay with... It's okay. Hiro is... Who is Hiro? He's my friend from... He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying... Kiriwa doko desu ka? There is no such thing. Kiriwa doko desu ka? Hey, Miss Fortune, there's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. I think we're getting close to the... Okay, great. Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't... What? No, you didn't. Oh, dear. Another classic bit of dialogue coming up. You know, without... Hmm. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I... What if we use... Hmm. What does... Di diver well, make the cashier look somewhere else. Okay, let me think what I... I haven't got any titties yet. <laughs> it's so funny. Awesome. Right, we're gonna go to the left. Basically, all we have to do, we, we need to interact with just a couple of items around the entrance here before we get the opportunity to break the window. Because if we look at the window yet, nothing. It, we won't have that um, suggestion to smash the window. So we will just interact with the two posters. See, so at the minute, we don't get the um, opportunity to come up to break it, so... Uh, yeah, so just look at the two posters here. Look at the window, and then we need to go to the right-hand side of the vendor man. Vendor man. Staying outside a zoo all day, because that must be boring as shit. Um, have a look at the bin as well. Again, not sure if you have to look at absolutely everything, but I do just to be on the safe side. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to look at the uh, another poster. I thought we had to pick up one of the stones, but as it turns out, we don't. Which, I mean, would have just saved a little bit more time, but there we go. Right, so when, once we have interacted with that, do I interact with the missing poster? Yes, I do. So, poor missing children. They all look stoned, mine, don't they? Christ, must have stoned them up good before they... Uh, huh. Anyway, now we have the choice, so we're going to break the window. Press and hold the X button there to break the window. Again, you'll only get this choice after you interact with four posters and the window itself. Or seemingly so. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. So again, I'm thinking we need to pick up the stones, but we actually don't. What we need to do is just go to the window now, interact with it, and then just use stony. Again, remember we need to keep the rune stone. So that's very important to press X for stony. And then as soon as the vendor man comes out, now we can just walk behind him ever so slightly and pop your buns in there. There we go. Right, so now we are into the zoo. And by the way, that's all it takes. If you want to go to the zoo for free, just make a distraction and just walk in behind. Very easy. Smash a couple of windows. Try not to get arrested, though, for it. Why? You mean Bungie? Yes. Remember, he... All right. Man, Mr. Voice really wants us dead, doesn't he? Booting them, them. Again, this is <laughs> this is funny again. <laughs> Give yourself a. <laughs> it is so funny, and it, the fact that she sounds so cute when she says it as well just makes it perfect. Right, so we're gonna go past these bird cages, and we're gonna see a wheelbarrow full of seed. What we're gonna do is pick up the seed. So steal that boy. And we've already smashed the windows, we're already going to hell, so we might as well just steal a couple of things as well. Mainly though, we're doing it for a missable achievement. So, go to the right, interact with the bird seed bowl in this one. And we're going to stick some bird seed in your pocket. Or we're going to throw it at the bird and piss the bird off. That's, that's also... <laughs> I love you. <laughs> interact with the second bird cage. Birda. 
Ah, man, she is so funny. And then interact with these already fat, chunky pirate birds. The parrot of life. <laughs> Robert and Mary, that's uh, some good names for some parrots. Pirate parrots. But what that should do then is finally unlock the achievement for us called Feeder. So that one is all good. Now what we're going to do is make the fountain sparkle. So just to the left of this wheelbarrow, this big sign right here, is a big chunky fountain. Bit of dialogue is going to happen, but make sure to sparkle, sparkle it. And again, this is another... Homos. <laughs> this is another very funny bit. Very true as well, actually, this part. And you'll bleed for three to... Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many men and society treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency gl- Ah, uh, so much better. All of that is bloody sad but true. For some reason, you've got to pay like a tenner for tampons. Or maybe I don't know because I've never had to buy tampons. But uh, it's, it's too expensive for something that you can't help happening to you. Right, females? Sh shit should be free, man. Uh, All the hygiene, you know. Having to stick stuff up yourself to stop bleeding and all that. Anyway, sparkle the fountain. Go to the sign on the right-hand side. And we need to go to number six, which is the wolf one. So you need to do it yourself. Uh, there he goes. Eventually, we get there. Pet the wolfie. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. But we're, that's what we're going to do anyway. So, now we know where we're going. Again, make sure to press Y to sparkle up the fountain if you forgot to for whatever particular reason. And then we can go all the way to the left. Now, what we're going to do is make another manual save. This time, it's not for making a choice, but rather, we need to sneak past the janitor the first time. It's very easy. Um, all this janitor does is look left, and then as soon as it looks um, straight at the cage again, we'll just sneak past. Um, it's easy as that, but always worth making a manual save just in case you do mess up for some reason. And we can just reload, go back into it. Behind those boxes. Great idea. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Like a little ninja like... Well done, Miss... Now, wait for her. And then kill her from behind. What? No. What? That's what the ninjas do in movies. Don't tell mommy. Well, so don't worry about falling flat on your face and an earthquake happening. That's all good. Janitor doesn't notice. So, just wait now until prune bird head with human hands and feet for some reason looks around. As soon as it looks back at the cage and starts sweeping. Like now, make a run for it. Again, running is fine. You're going to fall flat on your face and the bird's going to be like, bruh. I'm sure I just heard something. And is that somebody whispering behind the boxes there? No, apparently, because birds don't have ears. So, again, just wait. No point risking it. We're going to wait till he looks to the left. Soon as he looks back at the polar bear and starts sweeping, we're going to make a break for it now. Boop! Dar she blows. And that is pretty much it. So, again, it's very easy, but just in case you ended up messing up somehow, that's why you made the manual save. So, just keep bombing it to the left. Just waiting for the achievement to unlock. There we go. Vargan Wolf. Oh, Vargan Hargan Schlargan. See? Now I am Swodish. Right, here's the second runestone out of three. So interact with it. Put the runestone in by pressing the, uh, let's see, left on the D-pad. Yes, left on the D-pad. So I was right. So I, I mean, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so that'll be the second or the third runestone. So you can read it if you want, but I'm not sure if it makes too much of a difference. I think you just need to put it in, and then we can just take it back out after you're done. So again, left on the D-pad to take it out. Job done, and then press the B button to back out. And we can go to the left now and interact with the pet the wolfie. Pet the Toto Wolf. By the way, that's for any Formula 1 fans. Toto Wolf. Angry. Angry Austrian. Oh. You, however, now you should... Got it. Meet the wolf like a ninja. It's locked. I need a key for this. Yes, you do. Look, there's a note. It must say where the fox lives. Uh, I can't reach it from... We need to find a key to open the... I'll find that key. You'll see. 
so let's head all the way to the left. We're going into the bird hybrid human weird things house now on the left hand side. Uh, basically, we're going to find the fourth hay doll in here. The ninja lady. Yes, absolutely. Ab anything for you. Anything for you. So, a uh, couple of things we have to do. Again, we just need to find the fourth hay doll and interact with the safe at the back. And, I mean, there is a number here. I think you've got to interact with a few things to have a look. But I'm just going to show you uh, what the number is because it's just easier. So, interact with the box down below right there at the forefront of the screen. And you will get the fourth uh, hay doll. So, make sure to pick that boy up. And going to get the achievement very um, intriguingly called hay doll number four. Right, so what we need to do now is go ahead, interact with the safe at the top of the screen, and then just input this code. 27581. Okay, so that's 27581. And we got a golden key ticket. I got a chance to make my, make my me. Or whatever the hell I'm on about. But still, that is the golden key picked up. And that's all we need. Again, if you want to steal some food or anything. Uh, to be honest, because I'm a fat, chunky lad. If I had to do this, I'd probably steal a little bit of food from the fridge as well. Uh, just because. So, there we go. I mean, to be fair to the janitor, living that close to the wolf, that's pretty impressive. So, we are going to interact with the key. And Mr. Voice thinks he's done a good thing. And as it turns out, the wolf just nips off. Unlucky fuming tampin. <gasps> Wolfie? Ah, oh, damn it. What why can't a little lady Oh, that was unexpected. Not to me. Animals usually run away. That's too bad. But hey, the note is right there. I'm gonna take it. It says my evil as Benjamin's address good now we can get all right sweet it looks like the fastest way wait a minute are you telling me we it seems that way oh, sweet i always wanted to go yes <laughs> So, second lot of questions from Mr. Voice. Again, choose whichever ones you want. It makes no difference. Choose the opposite of what I choose if you want to see this that specific dialogue. Go nuts. Be my guest. Be my breast. Be my vest. Have you ever heard? Yes. All right. Second question. Have you ever? I do it all the time in Charlie. Still believes my daddy I as well behind the trees and sneak home? That's so sad. If you say so. Now, for the last question. Have you ever seen some... I saw Grandad die. It was very calm. Not like in the movies. I told him to come haunt me. Thank you for your honesty. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. We're getting really close to... Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting. Wow, this looks so scary. I wish I had a ticket to... Really? But hey... Please, don't play with me. It can't be at... Are you sure? It looks like a ticket. It can't be. <laughs> what? A ticket? For real? Sweet and spooky. You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find... Mm -hmm. Hooray! We made it to Phantasmagoria! That's so cute! Right, we're gonna sparkle up this Phantasmagoria sign. First, that's another sparkle. We're also going to make a manual save. The reason we need to do this, we need to ride two rides. Um, and we have to ride the first one first and then reload the save. So, uh, yeah, so you sparkled up the Phantasmagoria sign. We need to go to the left now. Well, mate, I don't even want to kill her off. She's bloody cute. The other one who wants to kill her off, so you can go sug your mum off. For all I care. Right. Ooh, hot dogs. Oh. 
I am starving right now, so those hot dogs look good. Look good. Right, we're just gonna nip. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So we've got one ticket, of course. What we're gonna do is just ignore the fox for now. Uh, there is, he does need a sparkle, but again, we're going to reload the manual save, come back to him later. So go all the way to the left, past the, mm, delicious looking candy store, and that thing. And we're going to go to the horror house right here. So, press the A button there to interact with the horror house door. It's going to be a cutscene, so you can either watch it, uh, press and hold the X button here for yes. Uh, again, it's going to be a cutscene. You can skip it if you want, or you can watch the whole thing. Obviously, just to save a little bit of time, we're going to skip the cutscene. I tell you what, these horror... <laughs> as a kid, the, the, it must have looked scary as absolute shit, but... I tell you what, you get scarier things that appear down the side of your pants if you accidentally crap your pants. Um, you, and you can probably cough up scarier stuff than haunted horror houses these days. <clears throat> Pretty much so. Uh, the boat, uh, no, 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 we're not, 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 no. What we're gonna do now is reload our manual save again. So make sure to remember which one it was. For me, of course, it was load three. And now, again, just in case, make sure to do the sparkle again on the Phantasmagoria. It's just in case that it doesn't, it didn't count or whatever for some reason. So just make sure to sparkle up the Phantasmagoria side before moving on again. It's, it's always worth it. It takes literally one second. Hit the clown. Shit the clown. Right, so what we need to do now, obviously, when we go to the left, we're going to be scared poopless by the big fox uh, inflatable tingy. Boo! <laughs> still funny, still funny. Uh, right, so again, we'll just come back to him. All we need to do is go onto the carousel. That is what is going to unlock us the returner achievement. Um, so, yes... Once again, we're going to ride the carousel. Another cutscene which you can skip, which we are going to skip this time. Because, look, no, nobody just wants to watch one random little girl on a carousel. It's probably kind of creepy when you put it like that. So, yeah, let's just get out of the cutscene. Again, she's going to feel a little bit sick. Uh, we should now get the achievement. There it is. It's called the Returner. The Batman, the Returner. Robert Patterson turns up as a vampire. A bat vampire. Eh, that makes sense. Anyway, enough about that. What we're going to do is go to the right now as soon as she acts up. There we go. Go to the right. Make sure to sparkle, sparkle the fox. So again, remember, you should have sparkled the Phantasmagoria sign at the beginning. And now this fox. So, as long as you've done those two, we are golden as nuggets to go all the way to the left-hand side. And into the next screen. There's a bunch of... Oh, of course. You must play. I just love it. <laughs> so what we are going to do now is play the Fox game. The Wacker Fox game. Now what we have to do is basically play this uh, nine times at least in order to get nine tickets. The maximum number of tickets we can win. And that's for another couple of missable achievements. So you have to play this anyway. So we're going to get the achievement called the Fox Wacker. And then we have to play it a further eight times after that to get nine reward tickets. So again, it's just like the Dance Dance Revolution thing. As soon as you see the fox, press the corresponding one on the D-pad. And that's about as easy as hell. So if you're feeling pissed off, a good whack a fox game gets you really, uh, really in the mood for whacking real foxes. Again, sorry Peter, I was just joking. Don't cry, you know, I'm not gonna whack actual f real foxes. So after we do that, again... Um, not sure if the fox is timed or anything. I'm pretty sure you win mostly every time anyway, so you should be good. Uh, but again, just keep going now. I haven't edited anything out, so it's going to take a couple of minutes. But just keep going until you get nine reward tickets and jobs good.
So that'll be that then. We've now got the achievement. We're going to get the achievement called Gamer, which is for winning all reward tickets. Now what we're going to do is get all our fortune told. Which, you know, definitely isn't fake or anything at all. Is it? Hmm? So go to Fortuna, which is on the left. And then just, we need to interact with her three times. So we need to give her three of the reward tickets. And then the uh, fortune teller achievement will unlock. But fortune tellers are all the same, and there they go. Oh, I know somebody in your family has died. Well, well yeah. This is... This was a male. Well, friggin' yeah, at some point. I believe this male had a male's name. Well, friggin' yes. That's the kind of fortune teller which kind of happens, doesn't it? But, I, you know, it, people believe in all types of stuff, and I'm... All, more the power to you. So, <laughs> anyway, we're going to, again, use three reward tickets on this fortune teller to get that achievement. But don't go running off yet, because we've got one more sparkle, and we need to go into the rewards bit to the left of the fortune teller there. You are being lied to at this very moment. Trust me, me, me. Don't trust any. Ah, oh, really? Is Benjamin lying to <gasps> What? What a way to end a conversation. Chuck a crow at your face. <laughs> it always works well. So go to the rewards, just to the left of it there. Press the A button then to interact with it. Now we are going to get the Hey Doll. Again, you should have enough tickets to get all three. If not, just go back to the Wacker Fox game and grab another couple of rewards. Uh, so pick the Hey Doll first. That's obviously going to be the uh, Hey Doll number five achievement. Into what the child desires the most. What does children desire the most? Ice cream, screaming, and kicking off for no apparent reason. That's that's basically a day in the life of a kid. Um, so we need to grab both of these items. So the one gold coin, gold chocolate coin, and the stoneware type thing right there. So you can put a little hat on Stony, which is pretty cute. Uh, but again, that's also going to get us the rich lady achievement. So good couple of achievements flopping at us more than a, well, you know. Fat kids at a cake party type <laughs> type thing. Uh, right, before moving on, interact with the skeleton in the middle of the rewards and Fortuna. And uh, either the ghost or the skeleton, doesn't matter. You should get the next Sparkler award. Right, and with that bit done, we can now go all the way to the left. And, I mean, just enjoy the cutscene. We're going to get another um, achievement as well for meeting the Kraken. That's a story-related achievement. So, just enjoy the next minute or so. <laughs> me about it. Anyway, this boat. You mean to Benjamin's? Yes, and it's just one. I got this sweet chocolate. I don't. No, see, it's fun. Oh, look at that. This 
is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked. Or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you see it. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Misfortune. Just... Ugh, but now I'll think... Ah, Kraken. If you appear and if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Ugh, what's a freaking crack? Hey, this place is, is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was thinking, is the Kraken available? Some pet doggies, some... I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could... With fish, you say? Look, Rodrigo, we need to talk. I don't know what the Kraken is, but I'm very curious. So I'll just place you here and see what happens. Rodrigo! <gasps> what is this? And there's the Kraken. Come on, pet the Kraken. I think you missed your opportunity. Ah, uh, just my luck. But hey, don't be sad. We've... I've been hearing that all day. It's not my fault. The fox. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the help? You know, that blue-eyed sop? You don't seem to want to talk. And why is that you... That's how you pay for your random... F Miss Fortune, just leave. No, he wants to hear. Do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I... By the way, can you speak Japanese? Do you know what this means? Kiribado kudasuka. So you don't know, you know? I've never been outside. Do you go outside by yourself this? Are you going to eat my chocolate corn? Because I'm a bit hungry. Ah, stop talking! Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? Oh no, can he swim? That's what happens when little lady makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm... Look, we have arrived! What time is it? Mr. Voice? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but... So this bit isn't too bad, all we're doing is just making a break for it, pressing the A button to jump over the rocks, and then the stones, and then when the monster appears, you just need to mash the A button. So it's all simple, but, um, you know, just thought I'd let you know, because I'm a nice guy. And you love me, Red? Red. Say bye-bye, baby. Oh, damn it. My little foot got stuck. It's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see? Oh. Leave me alone. What are you running away from? <laughs> Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Don't make any... Please, Miss Fortune, stop and listen. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. 
So again, this dialogue option doesn't matter. It's just a Mr. Voice just says something depending on what you want to do. I mean, to be fair, for someone who looks completely clogged up right now, she looks she always looks like she's running to the toilet. So we got the bear trap, which is going to be another sparkle for us to do, plus the third and final rune stone, uh, which means we are going to get the rune stones achievement. Again, very fantastically named, um, originally named as well. Thank you. So as soon as all this one finishes off, I know you don't like the fox douchebag. We know. No, that's just called animal phobia. I I think. Yeah. Anyway, who knows? So when we finally get into it, press the white button next to the bear trap to give off a little spackaloo spackaloo. And again, remember, we need to interact with the rune stone now as well. Press left on the D-pad, and that is going to get us the rune stones achievement. And you can take it with you, or you can leave... Oh, no, in fact, it gets stuck, sorry, so no. You can't take it with you, but it unlocks the achievement. We can press the B button to back out and knob on to the other side. Bring me will this slow the filth of... Oh, really interesting. Oh, also very importantly, don't go off too much to the left-hand side, because with the hay doll, the next hay doll, directly next to the rune stone. So make sure to pick that one up. That should be hay doll number six. So that should have been the sparkle of the bear trap. Put the third rune stone in for a rune stone's achievement, and the hay doll number six. So make sure you got those three done before moving on, finally, to the next screen and to the other side. Another couple of questions. Do, well, you do you, hon. You do you. You know the drill. Mr. Pill. Mr. McGill. My name is Bill. I like to fill up my, uh, not my president's wife. <laughs> you know, Bill Clinton, etc., etc. Thank you. That's magical. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Moving on. Second question. Do you trust me? I guess I can only hear you and I trust my own head. That makes me so ha Well, anyway, now for are you afraid of dying? No, I'm not afraid of death because all, all dead people I know never came back, so it must be pretty cool to be dead. <laughs> well, I get. Looks like there's going to be a. Oh no! I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here. I'm sure the fox has hidden. Make sure the cabin is empty. And if you see the fox, run. All right. So come on, little Bender Rodriguez, get out of the get out of the rain, damn it! So let's get in. Uh, basically, our weed-headed friend Benjamin, he's gonna be fine. He's not gonna even be here, which is all good. Um, we are going to do another bit of sparkly sparkly, and it's on this video player, this TV VHS player. Now, to all kids or to anyone under the age of 25 i press the left d-pad there to put the um vhs tape in now again this must look all confusing because it's not on your netflixes and disney pluses and stuff now for anyone who's just turning about 20 this is what's called a vhs tape now a video was like a big black looking box and you had to put it in an even bigger black box make sure to press the sparkle here to make the uh, video player all sorted by the way and that's how we watch stuff and we didn't have the luxuries of skipping adverts drink the tea by the way here just as i explain we didn't have luxury of skipping adverts and um things for instance if we wanted to record the simpsons press the x button here again to drink benjamin's tea and go through another bit of a cutscene. But again, if you wanted to record anything, you had to press record on the VHS player. And it would only go so far. I think two, two and a half hours, was it? Something like that? Yeah. Jesus Christ, now I'm sounding like an old bastard. But yeah, we had to yeah, flick through adverts ourselves. And we had to watch them. And we couldn't fast forward or anything. This era doesn't know how lucky they've got it in terms of TV and stuff anyway. It was hard to do back in the day. <laughs> hard to do. But anyway, that's my um, 
<laughs> that's my VHS uh, lecturer and exposure done. So, what we have to do now is basically get Benjamin to appear. Um, after we've spoken, uh, after we've drink, drunk the tea and had that cutscene, we just need to interact with the, basically everything on the right hand side of this room. When we do that, we can go over to the left side of the room and Benji will appear. Now, I'm nice and respect his privacy because it's probably just. <laughs> that's not a diary, that's just a weed box uh, where he keeps all his good stuff. Uh, so again, just interact with everything, and then we can start constipatingly running over to the left-hand side. And he he's just going to appear. Somewhere, should be around now, should be good, I think. No, she blows, buddy. Your video, it was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? You can hold my hand. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Is that your diary? You want me to read it? Is that what you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. You can't hide the children. Oh, so the monster is called Morbo. So what we're going to do, of course, is follow Benjamin. That is the only choice we're going to do. Now, is this an imagination of your drug-addled adventures, or is this really happening? Morbo! Morbo is after little girl and fox! Morbo, Futurama, anybody, anybody get that? Morbo, <laughs> yeah. So, we follow Benjamin, we're into the basement now. Uh, we need to get outside. So, a couple of things we're going to do. Morbo does not work that way. Good night. Ah, this is the another one of the funniest bits. This is the second funniest bit in the whole game. So we need to go over, push the stool over, interact with the uh, painting to get through, but it, this bit honestly killed me the first time. Time to use my ninja skills. Shh, what a bad crack. Be quiet! This is a ninja mission! <laughs> oh, I don't think I've ever, ever heard anyone tell their little butt crack to be quiet. But, and I'll tell you what, if you can't laugh at some poop jokes now and again, you're never going to laugh at anything. And you might as well go, you know, or you might as well just be posh totty and read, <laughs> read the... New Yorker in the Daily Mail with a glass of Chardonnay. Yeah. If you can't laugh at some hilarious poop jokes now and again. So, interact with the chair. We're going to get up on the table. We're going to interact with the painting and push the secret button. Shh, little butt crack. So, of course, we're going to push the button. Ah, uh, super funny. And then what's going to happen is, so for some reason, she falls like just the tiniest bit off the table, but this is the part she can't get up for some reason. So you just need to keep mashing the A button a whole number of times until she gets her little butt crack up. That was easy. Alright, time to find... Oh. oh, that I hope things... Okay, Miss Virtual. Get up, Miss Fortune. You are stronger than you think. You've been knocked down before. Did you let that stop you? Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Because... Because... You are the little lady, Miss Fortune! <laughs> Sorry, love, you are not little lady Miss Fortune anymore. You are the little butt crack. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Right, now this is where Hey Doll number seven potentially doesn't exist anymore for the PlayStation um, players. Uh, it wasn't on there before. Uh, so you could pretty much basically just walk straight past this bag 
uh, give it a bit of a sparkle and then move on. But for the Xbox version, they did put the Hey Doll number seven in here. So I've, I'm obviously going to show you Hey Doll number seven. Uh, so uh, we need to also spark up the bag as well as soon as Mr. Voice acts up. Oh, Mr. Voice is moribund. Eternal happiness was all. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you. No, tell me where Ben. What do you do to him? I'll be at home waiting for you. That that's a bit creepy since you are just a voice in my head. Right. So interact with the bag. Very important here to interact with the bag before moving on. Yep. And press left on the D-pad and you're going to see the Hey Doll. That is Hey Doll number seven. So again, that one can be easily missed because on the PlayStation it wasn't there. So I'm not sure again if they've updated it and it is there, but just double check anyway. Go for it anyway. Um, everything else I don't think, I think you can get out a picture if you want, but it makes no difference. But before moving on again, make sure to sparkly sparkler up the bag. Hearty goodness. There we go. Now... Uh, I make a manual save here. This is more of a just-in-case type thing, so make the manual save if you want to, uh, same as me, but we don't have to make a choice or anything. It's more of a just-in-case, just-in-case something messes up, and we have to go back quite far again to get it, although we are, we are coming to the end of the game now, about 20 minutes away. All right, I guess I'll... Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Okay, I'm gonna... So, Miss Fortune. Okay, I have this, like, where they... I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin. And then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot and he took Benjamin and now I'm alone I don't like being alone Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune The train is here It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune <laughs> Talk to you later You go, girl <laughs> Hmm, I wonder why we're talking to ourselves. Is things starting to seem a bit clearer now? Anyway, we're on the train Now remember the coloring book we picked up at the very beginning of the game? This is where the achievement is needed for it. So that's why we had to pick it up at the beginning of the game for this particular achievement. So she's going to do it automatically. Press the A button and just go around. Uh, you don't have to colour in the whole thing because she is quite slow. You just have to colour in enough until an arrow appears on the right hand side. But f by all chunking, <laughs> chunking asaurus, that's funny. Uh, but by all intents and purposes, do not press the B button to back out yet. Uh, this is another reason for the manual save. If you accidentally press the B button to back out, you will miss the achievement. And uh, you'll just have to reload the manual save and come back to this point again. Um, but for now, just keep going. Just keep going. Do not press B to back out. I just need to colour in three pages, basically, of dinosaurs. So, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Geppetti this huh? And eventually, it's a, it's a long, drawn-out process, this. And it does kind of get kind of annoying. I'm glad we didn't have to colour in the whole thing, mind. I thought we would have taken the payoff. And there we go. So as soon as the arrow appears on the right-hand side there, what we can do is just go over to it, press the A button on the arrow, and then just do the same for the next two. So just keep colouring in, arrow appears, click the right button, Job done, the achievement will unlock, and we'll un automatically speak to our Japanese friend. Japanese dead friend, as it were.
feel inspired. Ugh. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Such a coincidence. You know, I had a bit. I get the feeling that Miss. Have you ever heard boy? I know Hira. What does it mean? It's the monster! Leave Hira alone! Hira! Oh my ah! oh. No! Hira! I get to see. I wonder what the most. Uh, now, if this is the last time, I if Benjamin was here. Uh, oh, let's say, let's say. It must be hard. Right, so ignore this first can, but what we're going to do, we're going to see this second can by the bin. Kick this one once. Kick this one twice. Not once. Twice. But kick a can for a third time. And you'll unlock. The can kicker achievement. So yes, that second can kick it three times to unlock the achievement. We're gonna speak to these teens, skinny ass teens. <laughs> then give yourself a. Ah, oh, little lady bender misfortune. You are very very funny. Okay, so right. Now what we do, we're basically back home now, so after all that adventure, we can now relax, run to the right, but obviously Mr. Voice, as we all know, is Morbo. And he is, uh, well, some spooky things gonna happen. We got red lights. I like them. Mommy? I'm back! Hello? What's that sound, Benji? Hello? Mommy? What happened here? Congratulations! You reached the end of my game. Let me alone. I'm looking for mommy and... There's no... I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your mommy needs it. It's your response. Yes, I guess you're right. Good. Good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone... I guess I will. But only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love. I'm this is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this? Up? What? No, you'd not do. Then you say something about me dying. <coughs> Wait. Stop. Are we going to play another? I don't understand. If you can reach the end. And then you say deal. Stop ruining this. Uh, eternal ha No deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Wait. What? No deal. None. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was... If the game is about Benjamin and... Sure. Sure. I promise you know the way. Righto. So, welcome back to the beginning of the game. You have to go through all of that again. No, we don't. Right, so we can just go outside. Now, remember, what we're going to do is break the vase again. So, run, move, break the vase, le smash. So, it finally le smashed. Uh, but, of course, it, it's not the beginning of the game, so it's not going to be exactly um, as it was last time. Fine. Let me come up with... New game. Knock, knock. Who's that? No, I don't want to play with you. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're scaring me. Stop playing. So from here, what we're going to do is just run to the left into our bedroom. 
Again, the Broken Vaz achievement won't unlock just yet. That'll be in just a touch. Knock, knock. Anyway, just go to your left-hand side into the secret spot. And then, again, it's going to be another cutscene that we can skip. I skip it, but it's obviously always worth watching. Spooky stuff, mains. Open this door, right? We have a new game to play. Mom, I told you already. I don't want to play with you and... Hostily. Teach me how to be... So now we're... I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you... Is that one more of your... I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking of... He's been trying to take you away from me, or... and he's ugly. Oh, no, you don't talk like that. You know what? I'm done with you. Right now. You don't have... A... This is not the last game. This is only the beginning. Kill every little child. Another toy for my collection. And then you're like, and eh, now what happened? What happened? Well, as it turns out, I think she says something like Benji saves her. So if you didn't watch the cutscene, good news, Benji saved her. So job done, well done. The weed-infused towel fox. You're a towel. You're a fox. Right, make sure to pick up the eighth and final Haydel. Morbo is coming. Open your eyes. He is the voice in your head driving you mad. That's what Morbo does. So that's the eighth doll out of eight. So you should be all good with that one now. So now we can just nip outside. See, so after all that lovely adventure, we are all done. Ish. Right, ignore the vase, just run straight past it, I trip over it apparently as well, <laughs> trip over it, and that is going to give you the effect achievement. Now remember the first achievement for fixing the vase was called the cause, and Mobo was all about the cause and effect. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely little play, it's very funny. So from here, what we are going to do is just walk all the way out to the right, and you're going to see exactly what is happening. Go outside, and just... Um, I mean, if you were smart enough, you'd probably figure out what was happening. But if you weren't, uh, this one may came as a little bit of a shoky shoke. Don't ignore me, you bitch! Are you angry because I couldn't... What's happening? Mommy? <laughs> this must be a bad dream. Because I have nothing against it, but... Mommy... I'm going to go... With Bungie, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? I guess I was your little miss, but you need to find your own... I love you forever.
then, so, if you remember at the beginning of the game, when we crossed the road and we went into, like, this state of whatever the hell this was, and then we went back in before interacting with the dead crowbird, that's pretty much the point where Little Misfortune, unfortunately, <laughs> very misfortunate, uh, got run over. So, um, well, at least we're back with a dog, a little pug-eyed breath face. Uh, but yes, yeah, so throughout the whole game, we were basically dead, which is why all the crows were falling, which is why we were speaking to Little Misfortune, which is why we were speaking to other ghosts, and which is why we were seeing more Mo, a lot more than we anticipated. So it's a bit unfortunate, and that is why we've been doing all the sparkle collectibles things. One, for an achievement, and two, it's to give our mummy eternal happiness after she basically, her and our Papa, it basically ignored us and abused us for eight years, so... Okie doke. So there's a couple of armor pig dildos right there. And we're going to get the final... Oh, well, the, we got the final sparkle earlier, which was... Uh, which was, I believe, Benjamin's bag, but you don't get the achievement until we interact with the uh, bell coming up in just a tick. So there we go, interact with the bell. Now we should get the Sparkling Lady achievement. And with this one, we're going to get the true, you know, quote-unquote true ending as well for giving Mommy eternal happiness. Kind of a sad life, actually. You know what? It's, it's a very sad life, and it's even sadder to think that there, there are kids out there who get abused. By the way, there is another Hey Doll. This one's obviously um, unmissable. We've got to pick that one up anyway. Uh, for hey doll number nine, so you'll get another achievement out of this. But it is very sad to think there are there are kids out there, eight years old, that have this mega positive outlook on life when they get in abused and they get in sort of you know almost tortured in a way, and they end up you know there's all hope usually there's a happy ending, but a lot of the time there's not, and it's bloody sad actually when which genuinely this is a rare serious moment for me but it's very sad to think that there are eight-year-olds like that out there who get just abused and end up dying for well, whatever particular reason from just parents neglect man some parents are just dicks and they do not deserve to have kids in fact they deserve to be strung up uh, so yes but very sad when you think about it but this is well, this is the end of the game. This is the end of the game. So, because we collected all 16 sparkles, we will get the Eternal Happiness Achievement and the Somewhere Else Achievement, and that'll be all 35 Little Miss Fortune, Benda Rodriguez, Hernandez, Menandez achievements and trophies done. So, I'm just going to leave it here then, leave you with the ending. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game. I thought it was fantastic. Really, really enjoyed it. Hope you did as well, and I hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Um, thank you for, uh, so much for everyone who continues to support the show on uh, uh, Patreon. I forgot what it was then. Um, <laughs> on Patreon again, thank you so, so much. A uh, big shout-out to all of you, and a big shout-out to everyone who continues to sue, interact with me on the daily as well. And there we go then, guys and gals. That'll be it from me, so i see you in the next one. Big love.